Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Kay and this week I have another EKG practice strip for you. Okay, so this one is going to be a quick one because we should be able to look at this and just tell what it is. Okay, so these are our choices. All right, so I'm not going to go through the whole run through of how to measure it because this isn't one of those rhythms that you have to go through the measurement to figure it out. You can just look at it and tell. Okay, so this is classic A flutter or atrial flutter. Okay, so it's fluttering. It's like a little butterfly. It's fluttering everywhere and it has a sawtooth shape to it. Okay. And this is classic for A flutter. Now, this one looks a little bit irregular. Sometimes a flutter can be a, an irregular rhythm, and sometimes it's not. Okay, um, so you can use the different methods for calculating the rate. And sometimes we measure the, the QT and the QRS, but sometimes you can only see the QRS. So, you know, it just depends on the rhythm but you should be able to look at it and tell that it's atrial flutter all right and that is correct so it says look for a rhythm that is regular or irregular with a heart rate that is fast 250 to 350 beats per minute for atrial but ventricular rate is often slower so this is the atrial rate here the ventricular involves a QRS. So roughly we will say the ventricular rate is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, you know, roughly. And the atrial, if you count all of these, you know, that will give you the atrial rate, which is obviously faster than the ventricular rate. Okay. So, um, the P is not observable, but sawtooth flutter waves are present, okay? So these aren't defined P's. These are just flutters. It's just going really fast. The PR interval is not measurable, and the QRS is typically normal, okay? So that is classic atrial flutter. All right, guys, thank you for watching and make sure that you like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.